Welcome back to the Daily Brigandi. On this day in 1961, Mickey Mantle hit his 49th and 50th home run, making him and Roger Maris the first and only two teammates to each have 50 home runs or more in a single season. Of course, 1961, Roger Maris ended up breaking Babe Ruth's record of 60 home runs, and he had a total of 61 home runs. So these are two single sign baseballs right here. We have Roger Maris, Mickey Mantle next to him. And if you don't know the sports uh, industry um, too well, you would think, oh, Mickey Mantle, he's the Hall of Famer, he's a way bigger name. He would be the more valuable one. But actually, unfortunately, since Roger Maris died young, the supply of his uh, single sign baseballs are very low compared to Mickey Mantle, who signed a lot. So simple supply and demand. Roger Maris balls are way more expensive than a Mickey Mantle ball. Um, so going back to the amount of home runs they were hitting, if you compare it to today's game, so this weekend, the Minnesota Twins just set a single season record for uh, most home runs by a team with 268. And there's still um, an entire month to go in this season. They broke uh, the previous record, which was just last year, with the New York Yankees. So everyone says the ball's juiced, right? Everyone's hitting more home runs. But we still haven't had two um, teammates hit uh, 50 or more home runs like these two guys did. We may get there soon, though. I mean, people are swinging for the fences today more than ever. Um, but these guys, they still hold the record. Um, so we'll be left to be seen. So thanks for watching the Daily Brigandi. If you have any more questions about single sign baseballs, Yankee memorabilia, particular, particularly Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle, just uh, send us an email or a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.